Hi, this is Shauna Marie at Shauna Marie Stitches, and this is a channel mostly about cross stitch and sometimes any other random thing that I decide that I'm doing that maybe I want to share. And it is May 3rd, and it's the beginning of mania. And mania for me this month means pretty much monogamously stitching on one project. Well, at least that's the plan at the moment. You know how that goes. So today this video is going to be in a couple little parts because my I, my girlfriend that I talk to on a fairly regular basis allowed me to videotape her because I have dragged her down the rabbit hole with me because I don't want to go alone. Um, and so the person who swore she'd never have a project bag or stitch on more than one project at a time or buy over dyed floss, why would I need to do that, has graciously allowed me to be able to video her. And so I am sharing that conversation with you. Hopefully you find it pleasant or entertaining. Um, I've known Carrie for 36 years and I adore her and her kids are like my kids. Um, we call each other the, the other mother. So that's, it's just been a great relationship. And I am very pleased that she is becoming very quickly addicted to all of the crazy stitchy, stitchiness that I am and getting the lingo down and, and learning why I'm crazy about floss tube and yeah, all that craziness. So that is first and then I, or actually, yeah, that's first. And then I show you my progress and then I forgot to show you my haul. And so I tacked that on at the end. So if you want to see what's going on in my life and what we're stitching on and meet my dearest friend, um, stick around and I'll see you in a couple seconds. Okay, bye-bye. <music> Hi Floss Tube friends! It has been a good, good entertaining day. So, and it's taken me forever to get back on here. It's because the weather gets nice and once the weather gets nice, I don't, I, I just don't. I get busy with the yard and the garden and, and being outside because that's where I like to be. And so, but I thought I would give you a quick update, which is not going to be quick because I talked to my girlfriend and I managed to convince her to to al allow me to video video her um, and her projects because we're, we're working on similar things and my, my brain is going faster than my, my mouth is going. So for, um, I thought that I would give you an update on what I'm doing for Mania since it is May and on May 1st I decided, or, not on May 1st, but I decided that on May 1st I would start working on my stocking, which I had here. And apparently, oh, there it is. <laughs> During talking to my girlfriend, completely moved it. And so my mania, my version of mania, is going to be that in May I work on my Christmas stocking, which you guys have seen before. It's the little, this stocking. And I'm doing some variations on it. I'm taking the dolls off and putting a nativity there. I took out the quilt and put in a window. I think this whole section actually right here. I used the customized top that's on this one. And changed the colors on that because I'm not a gigantic blue person. And yeah, so I'll be just making some other adjustments as I go along. And so it's in my project bag that I'm sure we will, I'm pretty sure we talked about it when I was talking to my girlfriend, Carrie. But here's my little project bag. If I, if I actually close it right, it, the flap lines up nice. Let's see, this is my little Christmas, my little Christmas project bag. We used Vanna Pfeiffer's tutorial for her project bags. It was fabulous. I love Vanna. I loved her before I was making her project bags, but <clears throat> I really enjoyed it because she's super, super good about giving detailed instructions, and I like it because it holds my flosses and my pattern, and then it holds my stocking. And so I will try to remember, try, try to remember, um, to put a picture in of where I was. And then where it was this morning. Did I have 
and I haven't got much done at this point. I stitched on it Saturday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. I stitched on it and I got the sewing machine done. So there's the sewing machine and the stocking and started this. And then today in the time that I had after work, I finished my window down to the top of the sewing machine and I am now filling in the end of the window. I'm making a window seal. And then I'll put some wallpaper in back here and yeah, we'll see how much I get done. I have, you know, I have a life that unfortunately requires me <laughs> to do something other than stitch. So I may or may not get back to that today, but I hope to. But at this point, I've already put in at least, you know, at least an hour doing this and figuring out where my window needed to be. So that that's where that stands. Hopefully tomorrow I will have further progress. Before Mania started, before May got here, I did stitch on a couple other things, which I may or may not be able to show you because I had them sitting here, but... When I was talking to my girlfriend, I kind of, you know, rearranged things when I was showing her, showing her different things. But while she was here, we decided to make project bags. She came through on her way to Arizona um, to visit some family. And while she was here, they, they were only going to be here like a day going down and then a day coming back. We're like the midway point between point A and point B. And they ended up staying longer. And so on the way down, we spent two or three days together. And then on the way back, we spent four or five days together. And the entire time, we stitched. And when I say we stitched, we actually stitched very little on cross stitch. But we did make some dang cute project bags. Um, what started it was we found this fabric in my stash. And what this is, is it was a... Um, like a quilt top piece or a table topper that someone had started and then I found it at uh, DI or Goodwill or one of those thrift store places. I've had it for a while. Excuse me, my stomach is just growling like crazy. It says, feed me, feed me, it's supper time. That's what happens when you get off work. Um, anyway, we found this cute fabric in my stash because most of my stash is other stuff that I use or that's been used, like clothes or curtains or, yeah. I, I can tell you what each, each of these project bags is made of. Anyway, when we saw it, it's just like, that's the fabric that we want. I want to see my fabric in the, or my, my, my project in this adorable, adorable fabric. And so we did. So here's my little project bag. Ta -da! This was the first one. They're just, they're close by Velcro because I refuse to make a hundred or even 20. They're yeah, I, we just made eight because we well we actually had a lot of cute fabric, but but this is this is the one that we made. This is the one that we made. Here's the little inside fabric. I, I don't have. I do have a couple that my mom made me that have the the clear stuff vinyl on the front, so I can see the project, but. But I, I don't want to sew on the vinyl. And you know what? Like I said, with only eight or ten projects going, I can generally remember what's what the project is. And then this one, I have my, my books. It's the Kingdom of Books that Handwork Maniac is stitching on right now. And that's where I saw it. And I loved it. And so I had to immediately put all the flosses in and, and get the pattern. And found it on Etsy from a, from a seller. And so I bought that, and so that's in there. And I need to stitch on it so I can enjoy my project bag. And then after we made that bag, then we just kinda, kinda lost our minds. And so we made other project bags, and I have projects in all of them, which y'all have seen the majority of these, and I didn't work on any of these this month, so I'm really not gonna pull them all out, but this one is my little, my little Mayflower. So it's in my project bag for fall. Sorry. So here's this. Isn't that fun? Same fabric. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This used to be fabric in my mom's kitchen. And I've always liked it, so I kept it. I, I'm, I love to repurpose things. So this makes me very happy. This one is adorable. This used to be fabric in my son's room. This is my little Halloween stitch. 
cute. And it has a fun, I think it has Jack's Urn in it by Kathy Barrick. And then this is what, I got this fabric last year. And I saw it and I just loved it. And I'm not huge into flamingos, but I just love pink. I mean, how can you not like a pink bird? And they make such cute fabric. Anyway, so I made this one. And look at the inside. It's so fun. Anyway, I have a smidge of this checkered left. And so I'm going to put a band across here. And I think I might put a band across here. I haven't decided. I hate to, you know, interfere with the pink. But it is fun. And then I have this flamingo fabric that I'm, we made a project bag. And it just has the same little, same fabric. And I love those birds because they're, it's a flamingo made of pink flowers, pink roses. And so that one's fun. And then we made this adorable cherry fabric into a bag with some polka dot on the inside. And then this one was a vest pattern. Do you remember those printed patterns? The, like you'd buy the panel and it was a vest and you could cut it out and sew it up. I usually put a fleecy warm and natural in it and then like hand stitched on the different things to make it quilty. I really do like to do a lot of hand work. Anyway, we turned it into a bag and then the pieces of the, the inside, see, this, this was the back or one of the front pieces. Yeah, I actually think it was a front panel. Anyway, we just turned the other, the rest of it into the inside pieces for the bag. And then the last one we did, we actually did, oh, there's my, my little stitch that has been driving me crazy. Then I had this piece of fabric and we made this bag this size. I'm pulling a needle out of it right now that I had stuck in the front because this was all the fabric we had in order to make two bags. And it is perfect for a little project. It even fits that little stitch, stitch box that I had. And so, but it, you know, everything fits in here good. There's that, there's that. I could put my one of those little half patterns in here. Is it, it's perfect. That's perfect. And I love the fabric. I, I love bright, colorful fabric. This is a great way for me to enjoy fabrics that I absolutely can't bear to part with. So yeah, that's that's about all the stitching I've been doing. Is I, I worked on my stocking. I worked on my stocking. Sorry, I'm I'm thinking. I hadn't planned on making a video today, but then when Carrie agreed to let me chatter with her, then then I had to. Then well, I just had to. I haven't touched my sleeping princess. I didn't work on my. Oh, I did too. Do some stitching. I lied. And I have the floss and the this, but I don't have the, the pattern in here. So last month I did that little house. Sorry, that was March. And then this month I finished this little house, the pink house, which I just love. I think it's Country Cottage Needleworks. And I'm doing them um, as a all line together. And so here's the here's the ones. That, yeah, you're, it's not it's not ironed because it was you know crammed into bag, and I stitch in hand or in a hoop. Sometimes Q snaps, and so it's very wrinkly. Sorry about that. But so there's the four that I have done, and I love them. This was the very first the very first project I bought after I started watching Floss Tube. I, I don't even remember who was stitching it. I'm sorry, I don't remember who was stitching it, but it's so cute and so I had to have it and the overdies and the calls for fabric because it has sparkle see how it sparkles and shimmers and then the color variations because we love those and so I did get that done and I am also working on a blackbird design out of this book because I have I have holidays on the brain, particularly Fourth of July and Thanksgiving. Why I don't know, but I'm doing the salute to Abigail, which I love. That I love red, white, and blue. I I love red, red and pink, my favorite colors. 
and so I started that like I needed one more one more thing to work on but it's so cute how can you not like that and then what really like cemented starting it because I was just thinking about it and then I yeah I kind of got in a I kind of I don't know I get in a little jag where I just I can't I just start doing one thing anyway I was kidding up different things with the fabric because it's just like I have all this fabric and I have this floss let's see and I have these patterns so let's see if I have the floss for the pattern and the fabric for the pattern so that I can like put it all together you know put it in a kit and put it in the drawer which I found out I have enough to do I think I did 40 over the course of the month which is a little it's a lot excessive yes definitely went down the rabbit hole once I got back into stitching Anyway, when I was kidding up for this, I had the, I had picked out flosses. They weren't, actually I didn't pick out floss. I actually picked out the DMCs because I did not have the overdyes. And then as I kept looking at it, it's just like the thing I think that makes this pattern is the variegation in the border. Like I just love it. And so since I didn't have it, and I didn't feel like driving up to Salt Lake or the Sandy area to go to the store. I know better. If I go in a stitch store, that will be bad, bad news. Bad news. It would make my husband very unhappy because I would come home with a lot of things. Anyway, so I decided to order the overdyes and I got onto 1, 2, 3 stitch and looked for the colors that are in the pattern. They didn't have them. And so I ordered several other various blues and reds, hoping to hit on a combination that worked for me. And they came and they did. So I started it and I don't even remember what it called for. <laughs> It called for Madeline's Locks, Patriot Blue, and Stormy Skies, which were all thread gatherer silks. And I, I'm not gonna go, I, I do have some silks, but I'm not gonna, I didn't wanna wait or look for them. And I knew that I could find overdyes, and so I, I chose these three. This is a Weeks, it's Union Blue, which I think is very lovely. I think it works well with the Cherry Cobbler and the Granny's Annie Blue. And so I am using those, and this is my start. And I think they work well with the fabric I chose, which if I remember right, it's just, it's just the natural linen, the raw, the natural linen, so. So there's the, there's the threads. And then there's my start. And so that's where I'm at. And I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. I get to stitch with colors I love so that that's that's what I've been working on oh and I decided on this fabric I think it called for a 36 and I actually went with a 32 because like I, I want to see this up by July and so I thought well let me look at my frame stash and see if I have a frame that's going to work and so here's the frame I have. And when I measured it, it measures nine and a quarter by nine and a half. And so I chose a 32 count so that it will fit in here. And so this little fabric will go in this little frame. And I may or may not paint the frame. I like black frames, but I'm going through a white thing right now. And have been for a while. So it might end up white. We'll see how it looks with the with you know when it's all done and so that's what I've been working on and yeah so other than that that's that's my progress and like my girlfriend said I if if I end up putting her before this um, yeah now I'm just I'm kind of going through my projects that I've kitted up and going okay so I have this fabric and I have these these frames how many of these frames will actually work with these projects because there's no sense in having, you know, 50 frames if none of them actually fit anything I'm going to stitch. And so that's what I'm working on, and I don't think I can think of anything else. Yeah. Just working on the yard. Working on the yard. Getting the van ready for summer so that we can go on some camping trips. I still need to lay my stairs, which I've been putting off for a very long time. 
I'm sorry, I was laying flooring. So anyway, the flooring's sitting right over there and I can see it. That's why it's bothering me. Um, so maybe I'll get that done. We shall see because I would really like to make some serious progress on my stocking. And so I'm hoping to spend a lot of my free time after I get off work and get my plants watered and taken care of. Um, stitching, not laying flooring, even though it needs to be done. Might have to wait until my birthday in June. So I hope you're all safe and healthy and getting a lot of stitching done. And I hope you enjoy enjoy or enjoyed since I haven't edited this yet. So I haven't decided if to put, it, put my girlfriend at the beginning or put her at the end. Anyway, one way or the other, you're going to see her. She is my bestie from, oh my gosh, 36 years. So we, we have great fun when we're together. So stay safe and get lots of stitching done. And I will probably see you later. Actually, I know I'll see you later. It's just a matter of will it be in a day or will it be in three weeks. Um, so have fun and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, show me your cute kit. Let's see, let's see your cute kit that you got. Okay, so here is the cute kit that I got. It is really cute. To put in Adam, my son's new camper, which is much larger than that, but I thought it would be way cute. Right. And But I'm thinking of taking the daisies off so it looks less girly. Right. And just having it be red on the top. What are your thoughts? I think that works. If I was going to do it, I think I would just do, I think I would paint, paint, I would paint the whole thing red. I would stitch the whole thing red and then just do lazy daisy stitches on top with the French knot if I was going to keep the flowers. Right. And if not the flowers, then just French knots for polka dots. Right. Because that would be fun, but still not tremendously girly. And then I think, and then I think I might love it. It's very cute. It is very cute. I, I think you love it fine. I just think that, yeah. I think you're going to be you, and I don't think you can stitch it straight from the pattern. <laughs> uh, you mean because I've already started not? <laughs> like, you you can't really tell right this second. Maybe, maybe you can already because you have a good eye. That you're doing of... quarter stitches? <laughs> Yeah, I am. <laughs> that you're gonna, they're gonna flatten out all those little jaggedy edges. Are you gonna do the same thing to the top of the? Yep. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. To the flags. Oh, so here is the eight. So yeah, it's not gonna be as jaggedy. Chunky. Yeah. And so right now it still looks a little off, but once the darker stripe gets in the middle, you'll see that when those connect, then it's the half stitch to do all of that because I'm insane. <laughs> And I, I, I want it, I want it to be cuter than it is because I saw the pattern and went, oh my goodness, this is so cute. I love it so much. I want that for my son. And I ordered it and then I went, oh, so it is darling, but maybe, um, is it politically correct to say perhaps a little too simplistic for my nerd stitching <laughs> that's okay you'll just throw all the half stitches and the quarter stitches in there and it'll be just perfect <laughs> right and then it'll, then it'll be fabulous and it will just you know pop on that solid white background that we all love um but you realize hold that up again you realize that the solid white background does not have to be solid white Oh my gosh, Shana, please don't go there. <laughs> you could just hop in the car and drive over to the craft store and pick up some writ dye and just put a tinge of blue in the background with a, yep, little, bit of, a little bit of squidging squidg it up and make it all mottled and look like sky with little clouds in it. <laughs> no. Like, we, we have already previously discussed this. Exactly how, 
how far down the rabbit hole do you want me to go with you? All the way down to the bottom with me. So that when you watch a floss tube like I did yesterday when I watched Mama Loves You GB. And I had to order the little eye chart alphabet because I've watched her for two weeks stitch on that. And now that it's like actually on fabric, it is so stinking cute. And now you sort of have to find a, an eye doctor you like well enough to stitch it for? No, it's going to hang right over there next to the front door because I love it. I love looking at those letters with the different alphabets. I just, or the, you know, styles. I just love that. Maybe I should stitch it and put it up on my wall so I can just see every day if I'm going a little more blind. Or... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'll put it up by my door to go. Is this the day I need to upgrade my readers while stitching? <laughs> well, I can remember... Not, not even a half a year ago, just a couple of months, when you mm -hmm. swore that you were only going to have stockings. And now how many projects do you have? I, I don't remember saying I would only ever have stockings. However, I did say I would only do one project at a time. Mm -hmm. and, and, and which, which for my life has to be stockings because I keep making them for people. Which... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, people keep getting born, and so that's not really my issue, <laughs> sort of. But then it becomes my issue, and so yeah, like this is my this has been my life. Let's just do a stocking all the time. Well, and not let, not only let's just do the stocking, but let's take the pattern and then completely redesign the pattern every time I make it. Well, because these dolls needed to be pulled off of the little girls room. This stocking that's yeah. sitting on the bed in that stocking so it looks like this is mommy's craft room mommy made those dolls to put on her bed and oh while i'm at it can i just take out the the cross stitch frame which you and i love because we're cross stitchers but because jasmine's a stitcher she wants the dress form <laughs> sure. no problem or this cute kit that i got because i love that look at that fairy and who makes that one made book hold it down a little bit i can't i can't see who makes it uh, isn't it up at the top john sunday oh joy sunday joy sunday joy sunday cross stitch and this is the cute little fairy and she's sitting on, reading a book but she's sitting on top of a dragon I, I was gonna say the fairy doesn't really do it for me but i love the dragon and i love yeah. the idea of doing it a different color well and i love the fairy reading the book sitting on a dragon like this just spoke to me although i would like the dragon to be like maybe a green dragon or something so i actually purchased this for me because like the reader part was like this is so me but then when my son saw it my oldest son saw it he's like oh he's giggling to the side he's like mom that i would totally hang that in my room but can you make the dragon purple for me <laughs> well and I'm like, sure, because my kids think that, like, I can do anything cross-stitched. And then he says, well, at least I'm not making you, like, add dolls or take stuff out. You're just changing the colors for the dragon. Just. 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 Yes, that's, why, why not? So, yeah. So, um, so I started. I you should make yours first and then mine second. Right. <laughs> mine first. I agree with that. I do agree with that. So I think this stocking is number 13. Yeah, at but least. Have, and so, yes, that was mostly, well, and so, like, here's kind of the series. This is uh, originally from the Cross Stitch Magazine, and this catalog is actually from Better Homes and Gardens, yeah. which they took this over from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts Magazine. And so these are the original 10. And, but I also kind of switch them out, as you well know. And then your lunacy, <laughs> which I mean in the most loving way possible. Um, I just, like, I just couldn't get you having 13 projects going. Like, I don't have 13. I only have 11. Well, now I have 13. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yes, point. when you ask how far down the rabbit hole I want you to go, I want you to go all the way down with me. All the way down. All the way down. Oh, totally. You're not going to be happy until I, too, have 11 projects. That's why it just absolutely tickled me the other day 
when you guys came to when you were driving to Arizona and you stopped by and then ended up staying for several days longer than planned. Yeah. And the woman who swore that she was never making a project big because why would we have another project to make a project big for a project? And well, how, how, how many, how many project bags do we now own? Eight. <laughs> eight. But to be fair, um, they are darling fabric. They are darling um, fabric. It's sort of the fabric's fault, number one. Do you have yours there? Do you have your Christmas one there? I think it is either upstairs or in the trunk of my car. Um, which maybe I have to, like, run. At, I'll, I'll run upstairs to check. Um, because I wanted to say yes. It did happen because the fabric was cute. But <laughs> prior to that, if you remember me, <laughs> and it's in the most loving way possible. Um, you invited me to do the berry bowl with you. I did. Do you have that one there with you? It's in my project bag, um, which was interesting. I find a politically correct way to describe the joy of that particular project. Oh, I have no problem with that. Um, so. The well, colors not, did yeah. not, the DMC color trans conversion no. was not remotely accurate. Right. And I, I will say this because, I mean, people don't know me, um, but in my prior life working for an art supply company, um, my nickname was the color queen. And that's because I am pretty good with color. Um, and so having not correct colors dings my brain out. Like I just, <laughs> like, wow, that's just like super hard for me. Um, so that was difficult. But also, um, like even though I was stitching one project at a time, they were difficult. Pro I mean, they were expert range projects. Um but also, like, I've been stitching them for 30 years. <laughs> and so um, I, I am a bit of a stitch nerd. Just one project at a time. <laughs> you can still be totally nerdy one project at a time. You're a monogamous stitcher. Well, you I, were, was, were well, a monogamous you, stitcher. You corrected me. <laughs> Only a little bit. Yeah, you, you tied DMC floss <laughs> and hand dyed floss around my neck and just gently pulled me down that hole with you. I know, I was so tickled the other night when you were just like, So, I'm laying here looking at the Ada fabric. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. Let you? me tell you. When you told me <laughs> that Ada came in different colors, because, like, I have bad eyes already. And um, having to, like, count the strings <laughs> in the linen to cross-stitch. Now, we have a mutual friend, Terry, um, when we lived in Oceanside, who in her 20s, in her, her mid to late 20s, um, was having major eye issues and had to get, like, really big glasses. And her doctor was, like, talking to surgery if she didn't stop doing that because she was killing her eyes. And so I <laughs> vowed to myself, I wanted some self care and some self love and said, I'm never stitching on linen because those crazy women are all going blind. No, not really. <laughs> not really. No, you just use number four readers. <laughs> so, so I, I have just like, I stitch on Ada and I'll be happy stitching on Ada. And then when you told me Ada came in more than just white and ivory and oatmeal. And so did you find some colors the other night? Yes. Did they come before you left on your little trip? They did come. And what did Carrie do? Did you she bring? Oh, no. <laughs> I brought the one. I did bring the one for my mandala project. Uh-huh which is beautiful and has lots of colors and I'll run upstairs and see if I can find it. Um, but because like I already had my berry bowl with me and I already had my stocking <laughs> with me. 
And I, I was bringing my mandala to start. So that was like two works and projects. So that's two whips. Cause yep. yeah, I'm getting, lingo. Yep, getting the lingo. Then one starter. Um, so what more did I need? Because, you know, I, I'm still fighting that. Let's just do one at a time thing. <laughs> Except then my son bought his trailer and then, you know, I found this and then that was super fun. And then while I was finding that, I found the other one with the fairy reading a book. So I, I, I don't even think it took me six months to get past that. I can do one at a time because yeah. at first it's just like, I can't have one more unfinished project sitting around. This will make me crazy. This will make me crazy. But yeah, that's horrible. now that they have such cute bags to go in. You see, and that's, that, that's kind of what I was fighting because unfinished projects drive you nuts and they have for 36 years yeah yes and so they do <laughs> why 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 are you, are you trying to just wrap just wrap the lace around my neck <laughs> yeah, I'm with you and yet you have so successfully but i i will not today <laughs> get in the car and go get some dye to dye your fabric I, that, um, <laughs> you know, one or two projects is like dangling my toe. Okay. Um, so two projects, stocking variable. And then the cute fabric, the cute fabric got me of the fabric, fabric projects. But even though I had nine, I mean, eight beautiful project bags, it didn't mean I needed to immediately fill them up. <laughs> Like, oh, I, I need to get projects for them. Yes, you do. Although that did make me just a little bit happy. <laughs> <laughs> just now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That did make my heart happy. Okay. Just think how happy you'll be when they're all full like <laughs> mine. You'll be so oh, happy when your little Halloween projects and your Halloween bag and your little Thanksgiving project or fall projects in the fall Thanks. bag. I love enough to stitch for now. Only you. <laughs> Only you. It, I, I stitched two projects for other people, and now I'm stitching just for me. Says the woman who just this morning is looking for floss yeah. so I can change that pattern for my granddaughter. You do realize the last, the last uh, stitch project I did um, technically for myself, <laughs> my first one, uh, no longer exists. Yeah, I know. You can cut it up into little tiny pieces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've like ruined a, a stitch project that I've done. That felt so good. Yeah. I, anybody out there? Who and because it was so him. Yeah, I, I would have totally been with you. If chopping you it have up. stitched anything with your anniversary on it for your ex, chop it up, put it in a box, and send it to him in a beautifully decorative box on the anniversary of your divorce. <laughs> It feels so good. <laughs> Not that I'm advocating divorce, but if it happens. There you go. Nothing says I'm done too. <laughs> First <three> stitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. It took me so long because I was really kind of a beginning stitcher then. Yeah. And so to do the lion. No, and I lion, remember. All those shades of yeah. brown. I guess that's when two projects would have been helpful when you're <laughs> saying you want to switch to another thing and it's, Oh good. I get to use another shade of Brown. So a second project might've been helpful. Then. Right. I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of understanding the multiple project or, you know, just the fact that by doing multiple projects, it gives you an excuse to buy every pattern you like. <laughs> And floss tube enables you to do that because you see something cute and it's just like, oh my gosh, I have a list. I have a list. I have a list of things I want so bad. Yeah. No, no, I, I I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting fabric and I'm not making lists. So how happy are you going to be the rest of the week? <laughs> While you try to stitch on that very white Ada, knowing that you could you could make it look like sky. Well, then I will just pull out my sparkly Ada that I'm doing my mandala on. 
which is actually white too, but it has iridescent sparkles and it yeah, is fun. It is very it, fun. It is very fun. And I am excited about that because I do really feel like because it has the iridescent mm -hmm. thread that runs through there, it will pick up all of the colors that's going into that stitch. Yeah. So I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited um, to get that going and get that stitched. And that is actually for me because that that's going to go in my treatment room. I so. haven't seen your mandala yet. You haven't seen that? No, you haven't. You, you got it right before you left, so I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's right. So you could run and get it because it is I in your cute project bag. It is upstairs. I, I'm hoping it's upstairs and not in my car. If it's upstairs, you get to see it, but if, if it's in my car, that, that will take longer. That's okay because okay. I, 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 know how to, I, I know how to fix that. Okay, so you'll edit. You'll go, and she'll be back, right? No. no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Don't record my booty as I'm leaving. Okay. And I know people have like all different sorts of ways that they like to keep their floss. Yeah. And I know that some people have like the little strings that they love to see hanging. But I'm kind of old school and I like mine on my bobbins. And the other thing I like about it is it keeps my needles in here and it's a place for my thimble if I need it, if I'm doing other kinds of sewing, and my very sharp scissors, but it also has a little space right here that's very, very vitally important. And that is my thread bin. My little teeny tiny thread trash can. And then I can also put delightful things in there like the sweet little Valentine my brand new granddaughter made me. <laughs> That's very fun. I love little kid pictures. They're just, I, yeah. I love the progression of when they first draw people and their arms yeah. and hands are attached to their heads. And then as they slowly grow more aware and right, yeah. which I think is actually kind of fun because when I looked at this one and I get super sad when they outgrow it. Oh, look, look, your look, legs are attached to your eyes. Yeah. It's a little doggy like, but then when she did Papa, which was her second one, then Papa looks more like a person, although either his arms are up in front of his face or he has none. But look at his very, very long legs. He's cheering. <laughs> his hands are up by his face. He's cheering. They're up in the air. He's like, yay, Harley. Thanks for that fun thing. Okay, let's okay. see this adorableness. Because right. you actually got this before you got the camper. Yes. Wait, so I, I want to see your bag. So I can appreciate well, that's it. That's what I say. So this is the fabric that started it all. Yes, it did. Like, oh, darling, is it? Like, it's the cutest, stinky thing. And so we were watching a floss tube. Who was the floss tube we were watching, Shauna? The uh, I, it was, it's Vonna Pfeiffer. This is her, oh, Vonna, it's Vonna. her project bag tutorial right. that we followed. So I blame Vonna for the sickness. For enabling us. Yes, she's an enabler. Yes, well, oh, absolutely. She, she is an enabler, not quite maybe as much as you, Shana Marie, <laughs> but so this was the cute bag. Of course, we had to have that. And then this was the project that was already started. Oh, good. I found a toy I brought for my granddaughter. I didn't know what I did with it. <laughs> I put it in my project bag. Okay, so let me. Pull. Let me see the pattern. Oops, I just pulled my needle out. Okay, so here is the pattern. Do you have a, pi a picture of the... I'm going to the picture page. Yeah. This is the working copy here, folks. And no, so no. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were showing me the mandala. Oh, no. I thought we were doing the... You can okay. do the variable. So this is the one that Shana and I started on. I forgot she... that you said you had that with you. Yeah. So she invited me to join her madness. Yes. And so this is um, the beginning of the left side. Although we have noticed that most people are starting on the other side. The ones that I've seen, yeah. Yeah, so so that's the berry bowl. So that was officially my second project. Yes, project number two. Project number two. That I begged for. And you yeah. acquiesced very kindly because you were not yeah. thrilled. And we got less thrilled the farther we got into it. Yes. Well, and part of it, too, was, I mean, we have both been stitching 
for over 30 years. And so we, we're both kind of beyond that. If we, if we run against something that doesn't thrill us in the pattern, whether it's the way that it's grafted or the where the symbols are or the colors, like we just change it to what we want because we both know how to do that. Um, I am now looking for the pattern on my phone. And so this is, I'm not sure, can you see the colors there? Yes, I can. I love it. That's yeah. a very colorful little mandala. So you saw what that looked like. So here's all the fun colors. They are very fun. They're very fun. And then they're going up against the 18 count white opalescent Ada. From 123 Stitch. From 123 Stitch. And then you put the little colors up yeah. against that. Even though it's white, it does pick up. I don't know if you can see it, but it does pick up. Yeah, it, you can see the sparkle. So I'm. And you still I'm, have to bobbinate your floss. Right. I still need to bob my floss because that's. That's what I like to do, but it is in here, and I have not yet printed out the pattern for it. And I cannot I, believe that you left that in that plastic bag when you have eight project bags. <laughs> well, into this project bag. Yes, but you also pulled the berry bowl out of that project bag. I did. I did. They're, they're so special, they deserve their own project bag. They do. <laughs> It was so much easier when I was packing my car to just shove it in the one that I already knew I had to take and just go. Um, although, I don't know, maybe if I put it in its own project bag, maybe I would have gone, oh, I should bring, like, the extra little darling fabric with oh, me, yeah. which I didn't. Totally. Although, because then while you're there for the length amount of time that you're going to be there, then you could just add other patterns to your your exactly. possessions. So this was this is my my original stocking project bag, and on the front zip, I do have like my stitch. And look at oh, Shauna! You have an over dyed floss. I, I have some, yeah. Um, how did you? But look how yummy that is! I don't know if you can see. Oh, honey, I know. It's called Wood Trail. Yes, it is. I, I have that one. It's not on any of my patterns, but I had to have it because it was just joyful. But then, if you're excited about that. Oh, Carrie Dell Palmer lines. I know. Like, how far down the rabbit hole do you want me to go? Like, you don't realize how far down. Oh, I'm yes, I do. Because I also remember the conversation about why would I buy overdyed floss? <laughs> Which, to me, was just like, no, no, no. You you obviously have never seen overdyed floss because you're the color queen. And if you yeah. saw the shade variations in the overdyes, you would that, own overdyed floss. Where is that one that I just... Absolutely, like fell in love with it. Was another one that's like this is not called for in anything, but it was just so gorgeous. And I'm trying. Oh, I did like roasted marshmallows. That was very yummy. Yes, I have toasted marshmallow um, too. And it is one of my favorite wines. Oh, maybe I ordered it and it hasn't come in yet. There was one. Oh, and I have two piney woods. We don't know why, and that is lovely, but not my favorite color anyway. Um, gosh, I don't see it. Maybe I pulled it out to show it to somebody. It well, was my raspberry, raspberry sparkle or raspberry, I don't know what it was, but it was, it was so pretty. And I went, oh yeah, that needs, that needs to come live with me. Yes. I got a whole bunch in the mail yesterday because that salute to Abigail that I am working on, uh -huh. I didn't, the border is in. A light and a dark blue, but the the variegation in the overdyes is what like uh -huh. makes that border. So, oh. and since I couldn't find like they were out of the one that I needed, I went ahead and ordered like um, four or five other blues so that I could see which one I like the best. That's a good. Idea. So now I have a collection of the blues, and then I also have a collection of the reds because they didn't have the red either. 
Well, and remember the other day when you were telling me when you were at one, two, three cross stitch that at first they just had like so many um, over dies and now they don't have very many at all. Like there's shortages of things. Yeah. Um, and so I also went to everything cross stitch because I think they're the first company that I, that like when COVID hit and our, so you know that I'm from Washington state, which is where COVID got to come live um, in the Seattle area when it, things first started. And we shut down things pretty hard, pretty quickly. And so, um, like, while other people had their stores open and going and all of that, like, our, our, like, the governor announced March 6th and March 7th, Joanne's was not open. Right. And so, like, we were out of our sources and, um, like, even our Walmart, like, everything had just kind of shut down. And then after a bit, um, then like Walmart could open up because it was a grocery store. Um, well, maybe Walmart never closed because it was a grocery store, but like very, very limited hours and all kinds of weird things. But because of that, I was working on my stocking and I needed a particular color that I'd run out of. And I went down there and it was like, you, you would have thought floss was toilet paper. Like <laughs> I'm just, here's the eight colors nobody uses. Pick one that you like. Yeah. And so, like, so I went to, I think I chatted with you. And um, so I went online. Oh, I think I went online first and was just kind of looking. And I found everything Cross Stitch would let me just put in the number. And it was just like, oh, fabulous. Yeah. And after I talked to you, you, I think you said you you used one, two, three Cross Stitch. So I've used both of those. Um, and they both do carry um, the the hand dye. Yeah. The over dyes. And, um, and I'm trying to remember cause I did compare them maybe two weeks ago, um, as to which one still has quite a variety of different flosses. Um, and now I can't remember which one it was, <laughs> but I know that one carry, I think everything cross stitch, um, I say they s- wider variety. Yeah. I think they did too. Yeah. Of just the, even just the threads that they offer. Yeah. Um, and so that was kind of fun. And I don't, I think they're, I think their threads are, when you're doing the floss, um, I think their threads are pretty comparably priced. I think they're very. Yeah, they are. Uh, but I feel like one, two, three stitch had more uh, dyed fabrics. I feel like um, everything cross stitch had more floss and one, two, three cross stitch had more fabric. Right. Well, and I use one, two, three stitch because they're like, they're closer. Oh, right. They're closer to you. (laughs) I I mean, from my house, they're only 30 minutes. So if I was totally desperate, I could drive up there and get my order the next day. But a lot of times I'd rather go up to Sandy to the Mm -hmm. cross stitch store to my, to my local L local, the local stitch shop. Right. And I, I'm not even really sure if any of our local stitch shops are even open. Like, um, you can order online for our Joann's, um, and you can do curbside pickup, but they're not really like, uh, go in and browse. Like you can, I did the other day with Lynn. I think I told you that I got there without my camera. Right. And and (laughs) you were so excited. (laughs) All of their glasses were full. There was not one empty bin of their and I was so excited. I wanted to take a picture and I didn't have my phone and then neither did Lynn. I'm yeah. like, what? How did we both gather? But we were both charging him. Right. And so we just left him at home. Um, but yeah, I mean, COVID is horrible in many, many ways. And there have been loss of life, even loss of life in our own families. Um, but don't mess with my floss, dude. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get through COVID the best way I can. Yeah. So, um, you know, I swear as, as soon as they put it out at our Joann's, it's gone. Yeah. Like, you remember how many, like when we went to, like, we were looking for the six eleven. it's like, right. oh my gosh. And nobody had, and that's how it's been. Like I've been out of six eleven for a while. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I have four of them now. 
Uh, yeah, so do I because the other day when I went, I was so proud of myself. I went into Joann's, I got 610, I got four skeins of 611, and I walked out spending under four dollars. <laughs> it was amazing. I did, I bought nothing else. I had no bag. I could just tuck it in my purse and go. There was none of this. I'm going to walk out with a gigantic bag or a uh, really, you know, two or three hundred flosses. <laughs> right. Well, and that's the thing. Like when I saw all of those, I was like so excited. My little heart was pitter patting and I was just like, oh no. And even, even Len, my husband was like, you should get some. I'm like, yeah, I should, except. I don't know what numbers I need. Like, what do you buy? Well, and I was frustrated because when I stopped in the other day, and, and you know, I'm like you, I don't go to the store very much. I stopped in because I needed the 611 because I was doing the little patriotic small that I had to get out of my system. Well, Shana, if you had just looked under your dust ruffle. On oh, my bed, yeah. On your mattress <laughs> before you did that, you could have just used mine that I left at your house. I know. Who knew that it was lurking under there? But when I went in, I was so frustrated to realize that my long list of, I need these to finish off those ones, the charts that I've been kidding up, you know, in my, cra in my craziness, yeah. <laughs> that I, yeah, I left the list on my desk. So, yeah, so is this a good time to talk about not just the <laughs> eight project bags? That are cute and darling and beautiful and we love them and their fabric but that you also have um what is it like 75 now no I, I counted i only i only have 40 fully kitted <laughs> only 40 fully kitted okay the other ones are the ones i'm missing the flosses so on up with matching frames so it's just like here's the kit and the frame for it to go in I, i'm working on the frame part so, so that part's only like five. No, it's only three right now. Oh, it's only three. Okay. Well, yeah, that's reasonable. That's a reasonable. But it amount. dawned on me when I was looking for the, pe you know, well, I was looking for, now just listen, now just listen to my reasoning. So I was trying to decide what fabric to put. Oh, I can tell you what it is because I have it right here. It was the, it was the little salute to Abigail. Oh, yeah, so I, I was love. trying to decide what count of fabric I had in my stash that was the appropriate color to go with these, you know, so that it would it would all work. The fabric. You realized that you had already kitted up all the fabric you owned? No, you I, I didn't even begin to kit up all the fabric I own. But <laughs> I thought I thought I want to see this on the wall by July. And so I thought, do I even have a frame that it's going to work in? So then I went and I measured my little frame to see what the opening was. And then I calculated what size fabric I had to do it on in order for it to fit inside that frame. Math so, skills are important. So this is a complete, and I mean complete, project <laughs> because it has the frame, the fabric, and the flosses, and the chart, and I've already started it. <laughs> And see, you are officially in the realm of Stitch Nerd. Yay! How am I a Stitch Nerd? How does that make me a Stitch Nerd? Because you, like, calculate out with your frame. So no, 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 exactly no, no. Well, well, I did do that because it makes no sense to have 100 frames if you're not going to actually be able to put anything in the frame. Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's like when we got the berry bowl thing. And I, like, am the little stitch nerd who, like, looks at everything on the pattern and all of that. And see, and here's the well, little flosses kind of, that I decided I, I, on. Shana, so that they the could symbol, go. Um, they're not using the same symbols. Yeah, no. They're not using the, and you're like, what? I didn't even see that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, well, your little stitchy nerd friend saw that. So let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> if you're joining together as a team. My hands look like they're two different colors. Wonderful. This is a this is a wonderful. This um, is the California hand, and this is the yeah, Washington the hand. <laughs> if you come together as a team to do a stitch, that you're then going to invite other teams to come together and do. <laughs> Please, from all the stitch nerds out there on the planet, use the same symbols, ladies. Oh, no kidding. So. If your symbol for white on one is an X, is a, then your symbol for white on the other one 
needs to be not an X. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> dot means white. Dot means white. Not. Slice of watermelon means red clay. And it does on the other side. Because you're <laughs> you're working for however long it takes you to get through that. So for some people that might take you know, months, for some people it might take weeks, but you're used to those symbols because it's the colors you have in your kit. And then you go to the second page and you still have all the same colors, but now we're going to different symbols. <laughs> and th th this is not a, a, a snap quiz at school. We've already memorized our symbols. Yeah, it's been we, a little we, frustrating. Yeah, yeah. And unless you're going to sit, you know, because I get my quiz correct, unless I get like a candy bar or something, like I'm not going to play your game. Well, so, it's just like when we used to teach to it con when we used to teach at convention. Even when we were yeah. apart, we still like made sure that we were on the same page. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So. All of our all of our content was fluid. So whether someone came to your class or someone came to my class, they were still attending the same class. Right. And so, yeah, so that was weird. And I don't know. I don't know what the issue was. Maybe somebody didn't, maybe they had two different cross-stitching programs and they didn't have the same patterns. But I would say download the same program and just do it. One of those late night conversations. Yeah. Like use the proceeds from <laughs> selling that pattern to upgrade your symbols, ladies. Okay. <laughs> And maybe it's happened. I don't know. So are you, are you going to be able to stitch on your uh, camper this week? Happy? I am. And you I know, am. the store it's is open. For me. The store I is open every single day between now and Sunday. Uh, Sunday. You know, I kind of like that idea of dying, but uh-oh, I can't because, well... I already have floss on my Ada, and I'm not pulling it out. You don't so, have to, and I can tell you why. Because they gave you a gigantic piece, and you can start over on the other end. <laughs> I really used to like you. <laughs> And you're like, start on the top. Start on that start top. Start at the corner. very corner. <laughs> at the time, I wasn't thinking about it too much. No. No. Little I that can't. I know that on the private, you've been ordering <laughs> fabric and overdyed flosses and going down the rabbit hole without me encouraging you. <laughs> really? You know me and my love of color. I know. Like, you showing me that? Was you were just, to... you were so adamant though. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, tune in next week when we find out whether or not Carrie's crazy enough to dye her fabric. Oh, I think you should videotape it for us. Oh, my word. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not at home, and I'm sure that's messy. And I don't want to do that in someone else's kitchen. Yeah. So, you it know, to that be messy. a polite guest for my son. It wasn't that messy. And you're in California where it's sunny. You can go outside if you really think it's going to be messy. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you give me a problem and I will help you solve it. <laughs> you know, generally I like that about you. Really? I mean, that, that is my job. My job is to be the problem solver. I'm the facilitator. That's my job. I'm the facilitator. You're an enabler. You're an enabler. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might also be some codependency tied up in there as well. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a smidge. <laughs> you know, we, ha we have known each other an awfully long time. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. You love well, it, I you know it. This was going to be a fun, very simple project. It is going to be a fun, very simple project. After I dye my own fabric, 
Only the top two thirds. <laughs> and why is that? We don't want your grass to be blue. <laughs> so now, now has the gauntlet been thrown to the point where I now have to figure out how to dye the bottom no. green? Well, I think that you could totally get away with doing the whole thing blue. Since the majority of it really needs to be blue. It needs some background. It needs some background color. Just a little bit. Just a smidgy, smidgy. Watch your whisper a little Laura. The kids are hearing you. <laughs> are we bothering you, Van? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to whisper louder, Shauna. I can't hear you from the depths of your rabbit hole. I, I think that you should also make plans on coming to visit me in the fall so we can go to Stitch West together. <laughs> oh, Carrie, we haven't been to a convention together in forever. I, you know, uh, I, I make it a point not to go to a convention unless they pay me to teach. Hello. <laughs> we can be in the same room and we can like giggle all night. It would be so fun. With other people possibly not wearing their masks. I said you and me giggling in our room. Right. Couldn't we just giggle at your house? You're vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. They're not vaccinated and they're not wearing masks. You don't know that. It's, it hasn't happened yet. October is months away. That's true. That is true. What is that? I have a phone call. Tell them to go away. Oops. It wasn't my son. And it I was going to say, that wasn't a ringtone I recognized. So. No, it wasn't, and it, wasn't, it also wasn't the call that I've been waiting for. All, all day. day. Yeah. Yes. Lovely social so. security. So I guess that means tomorrow I get to call again and say, I'm, uh, please help me. I'm a little confused. I was, I was under the understanding yesterday when you said, okay, somebody will be calling you right back. That meant the same day. Yeah. So do you mean right back in my lifetime? Yeah. Like, <laughs> because I'm actually here out of state and I, I'm only going to be here 30 days. So how many of those days am I going to be waiting for that phone call? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Because he really, truly really made it sound like it was just going to be like a couple of hours at most. But he didn't say that. It was just his happy little tone. So. I guess tomorrow I'm calling and making his tone just a little less happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will be curious to see where the little happy campers land. Yes. Tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, I guess that means I can't sew on it now. Now you have to work on your stocking. Or my berry bowl. No, it's mania. It's mania. It's stocking month. Can she finish the stocking during mania? Well, look at my thing. I just have the little wood piece to go up here. And then I can... I know. You are almost finish. done with your stocking. You could finish that in May. I could. Like, I'm only over by the sewing machine, so there's. I don't think there's any way I'm finishing that in May. Not, not with every yeah, work and garden and all that good stuff. Just every every Saturday and Sunday do 24 hours of stitching. That's right. And then just, like, you know, have a ton of it. That's right. Oh, I have to check this. That's okay, because I'm going to turn this off. Hey, I ran right back in because I forgot something that was really important, and I don't want to wait because I'm super excited about it today. I forgot that I have been... I didn't do my haul and it's I have haul because of floss tube it has enabled me to, to see things and buy things that I probably didn't need but which is so adorable that I had to have them and so yeah I don't usually watch a ton of floss tube I watch you know I watch some but it seems like in the last couple of weeks I have watched a lot of floss tube and maybe it's because I'm not sleeping really good so you guys are keeping me keeping me entertained all night into the wee hours or actually just usually in the very very early 
early hours. Anyway, and so I have been watching my favorites that I've been watching for the last couple of years, and I've watched plenty of newbies, um, more than I could even write down. But I watched Vana again um, because I've been watching some of her tutorials, and I just appreciate all that she has done for the cross stitch community because she has fabulous tutorials. And she is just fun to listen to. It's so nice to listen to somebody that's from the Midwest. And Michelle from Mama Loves You GB, she just, oh yeah, she's nodding. She showed me that cute Frisian eye chart that she got. And I loved it when I saw it because it has such quirky alphabets to it. And I love alphabets and it's unusual and, you know, a different way to display an alphabet. But then when she started stitching it up and I saw it like on, you know, floss on the fabric, that was the best. And so, of course, I had to go get that. And I, Brenda from Handwork Maniac, Maniac, say that, blah, blah, blah. my tongue is getting twisted. Um, when she very first showed Kingdom of Books, like I immediately went and got it because I, I love it. I, I love little tiny houses and I love reading. So books that are houses, yeah, it had to come live at my house. And so I got on Etsy and found somebody that had, had the pattern and and pulled that together. And I haven't started it because, you know, I've got projects and I'm trying not to have 85 million projects started, but I have enough to fill my project bags that I've made. And I like watching Anna from Stitch Roadies and Elizabeth and Can Stitch because they both just make me laugh and feel good about myself and life in general. And I watched Lori Holt for the first time this week, which I can see that that's going to be a problem because that little flower mart chart, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a very, very sweet and fun. And made by Michelle um, McGraw, I think is her last name. But she has made me want to stitch smalls. I mean, I already wanted to stitch smalls, but she's made it worse. And I have to wait. Well, I didn't wait. Do I even have it with me? I had it and I was going to show it earlier. I probably already took it upstairs. I was running things back and forth when it dawned on me that I had forgotten to show you my haul. But she's fun. And Stitching Jewels, who I really enjoyed. I started watching her because she stitches things that are different than what I stitch. And I enjoy listening to her and getting little updates on her life. And I got to see Kitten Stitcher, who I hadn't seen in a couple minutes. And so it was fun to hear from her. This is literally like hearing from family members. Like, I, I appreciate all the floss tubers. Like, everybody. I really do. And I try to watch as much as I can. I kind of go through spurts. But it's like getting letters from home. And so I get really excited when I see people that I've watched for a long time. And I get to catch up on their lives. In fact, that was why I kept watching Stitching Jewels. Because I had to find out what was happening with her puppy. So, anyway, it's been fun. Um, Carol, um... Oh, Colorado Stitcher. She's another one of my favorites. And then I started watching Pam and Steph, which I've heard of Pam and Steph since, since I started cross stitching or since Floss Tube started. But I had not watched them just because, you know, they have a longer video. I really, I really do try not to be long. It doesn't happen all the time, but I try not to be long. But I don't always feel like I have the time to invest in that. And so, but they, uh, I should have not started watching them because they really enabled me to do some naughtiness. And so I went to get the Smithfield 1817 sampler because I love the birds and the flowers at the top of it. I'll have to put pictures of these in because I haven't printed them off yet. And I also got the Peacock Sampler. And both of those are by Twin Peaks Primitive. Sorry, I was trying to think of the other one. I got the One Nation is the other sampler. I'm really into like 4th of July, Independence Day, Go America, We Can Do This Together kind of thing. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying that. Anyway, I have, I've got several of their samplers from Twin Peaks Primitives and it's all because of Stephanie and Pam. Floss too. It enables you just to be naughty. And I got the peacock sampler just as an FYI, just because I thought it was cute. My daughter loves peacocks, and so I'm going to stitch it for, not for her, like she can have it when I die, but until then it can hang on my wall and I can enjoy it. 
but I love the saying on it. it says this is home a place of safety and joy a place to rest and create and that is what I want my home to be I think my home is that way it is definitely a place of safety and peace and so anyway that was my haul I did get some fabric and like I said earlier I think I got I got threads blues and reds because you know I had to have them for that salute to Abigail so that I could stitch on my Blackbird Weekend, which I did yesterday. And got that little bit of progress that you saw earlier. And yeah, that's it. So anyway, that was my haul. And I hope you have a good week. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.